In today's video, we're going to be talking about skin tags. What causes them and how to get rid of them naturally. Skin tags usually appear around the neck, armpits, groin, and sometimes even on the eyelids and under our breasts. And most people are surprised to hear that skin tags are actually not caused by rubbing skin. Yes, they do frequently occur in skin folds, but they're not caused by friction. There is a root cause to them, and when you address this root cause, they go away naturally. No surgical removal or topical treatment required. So if you have skin tags and you want to know what's causing them and how to get rid of them for good, <laughs> keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos twice a week here on YouTube talking about all things insulin resistance, blood sugar management, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you wanna take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. For everything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that does it all. Head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate to start your free trial today. So skin tags. These are small growths that occur on the surface of our skin. Oftentimes they are the same color as our skin, but sometimes they can be darker in color and resemble a mole. And while the tags themselves are considered harmless, the underlying cause is not. And this underlying cause might be something you're not even aware you have. Now, whenever I mention skin tags in a video, there are two common responses that I get. The first one is people being shocked by the cause. They didn't realize that there was a relationship between the two. And the second response I get is so many of you tell me that when you address the root cause, your skin tags went away entirely. So what is the root cause? Well, first I'm gonna tell you about what's causing skin tags, and then we're gonna get into how to get rid of them naturally. So make sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss that. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm sure you've heard me talk about skin tags before, so you're not gonna be surprised about what causes them. But for those of you who are new here, skin tags are caused by insulin resistance, and more specifically, high insulin levels. Insulin resistance is a lifestyle condition where the cells in our body stop responding to the actions of insulin, which leads to circulating insulin levels being higher than they should. And this will eventually lead to prediabetes, type two diabetes, and other serious diseases. And this is why skin tags are so commonly seen in people with prediabetes and type two diabetes. They are caused by high insulin from insulin resistance, which also causes these diseases. Now the exact mechanism between how high insulin, also known as hyperinsulinemia, causes skin tags to grow isn't quite understood. It is very clear that there is a direct association between the two, especially when we look at people who have let their insulin resistance progress to prediabetes and type two diabetes, they start getting more and more skin tags. What we do know is that insulin is an anabolic hormone, meaning it causes growth. And the theory is, is that when insulin receptors for IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor are activated, this causes excess skin to grow, which is skin tags. So what can we do to get rid of them naturally? I'm gonna tell you some actionable steps you can take in just a minute, so stick around. But first, I want to quickly thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. It's thanks to companies like Squarespace that I am able to put out as much free content as I do. Like I said, I put out two videos a week here on YouTube, and I also post daily on Instagram and TikTok. So if you're thinking about building a website for your business or even for personal use, I cannot recommend Squarespace enough. I have been using their platform since I launched my coaching business a few years ago. Their award-winning customizable templates will give your website a polished and professional look while also being highly customizable. You have complete control over colors, fonts, sizing, photos, and more. Their templates are beautiful and professional. 
Not only did I build my website on Squarespace and I run it on Squarespace, I also manage my email list and I also design and send out newsletters through Squarespace. You can run an online store and take payments directly through their platform. And these are just some of the features that Squarespace has to offer. So if you want to check out Squarespace, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate. You can start a free trial without having to enter your credit card details or anything. And when you design your website and you love it and you're ready to launch, make sure to use code healthcoachkate to save 10% off your order. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So the solution to skin tags is pretty straightforward. If high insulin is the cause, then addressing and reversing insulin resistance will also reverse your skin tags. And if you've already addressed your insulin resistance and seen some of your skin tags go away, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I get this comment from you guys all the time, but I love hearing your success stories. So yeah, let me know down below. <laughs> But anyways, the key to addressing insulin resistance and getting rid of your skin tags is keeping your insulin low. Because as I mentioned earlier, people with insulin resistance have high insulin levels because their cells are resisting it. So anything you can do to reduce your body's need to create insulin is going to help to improve insulin sensitivity. Some examples of how to do this are reducing carbohydrates in your diet, because carbohydrates are the macronutrient that needs the most insulin to process. Another thing you can do is to stop snacking and eat only during your meal times. Because the fewer times you eat, the less insulin that's needed. You can incorporate intermittent fasting into your routine. So maybe try starting with a 12 hour fast every day. Stop eating at 8 p.m. Start eating at 8 a.m. Don't eat within that 12 hour window. You can work your way up to 16 or 18 hours fasting. Again, if you're not eating, then there's no need for insulin. And going for a 10 minute walk after you eat, because when you're exercising, your cells don't need insulin to take in glucose. I have a video I posted, I think it was last week, on eight things you can do to improve your insulin sensitivity. It goes deeper into the things I just spoke about and also talks about a few other ones. So I'll link that up above if you want to know more. But if you do these things, your insulin sensitivity will improve, your circulating insulin will come down, and your skin tags will go away naturally. Now, if you do want some more guidance and support getting started reversing insulin resistance and getting rid of your skin tags, I just released a new coaching program. It's called Insulin Resistance Masterclass. It gives you everything you need to get started reversing insulin resistance, including a seven day sample meal plan. And it also allows us to work together through a private Facebook group. I made this program to really simplify everything and to put it all in one place. So that will be linked in the description box down below. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have skin tags and if you noticed when they started to develop. Make sure to check out Squarespace before you go as well. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on how to improve insulin sensitivity that I mentioned earlier. You can check it out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my new insulin resistance masterclass, you can find that here. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.